I'm Tanya Steele, Editor-in-Chief of Epicurious.com, and you're watching Around the World in 80 Dishes. Today we're in Hawaii making uku lao lao with my friend here, Chef Lin. So, Chef, so now we're ready to make the sauce. We are, and the sauce is really, really easy. We've got some aromatic peanut oil, some julienne ginger, scallions, onions, sesame oil, tamari sauce, and I like to put a little cilantro in it, too. Uh -huh. That's not in the recipe. Don't tell anybody. But that's okay, because we love cilantro. Exactly. And this sauce is about as easy as it gets. You can make this a day ahead of time. It's going to taste even better. Really? Yeah. So take a little, take a little pot here. Turn the heat on. You're going to heat up the oil, peanut oil, to the smoke point. While you're doing that, you're going to take the ginger and the scallions and the onions. Are those just regular white onions? Yeah, they're just regular white onions. And you're going to put them in this bowl, just mix them up a little bit, put a little tiny bit of salt in there. Start the uh, denaturing process. What is denaturing? Denaturing is when it, it, it's the breaking down. It starts breaking down. If you actually salted these and let them sit for about an hour, they would almost look like they were cooked. So you're denaturing and it almost looks like it's cooked. Wow. Now we're going to heat this oil up to the smoke point, but not so that it burns. So now you can see our oil is starting to move a little faster as it heats up. <clears throat> really start skimming across the bottom of the pan much faster. Hmm. And what's going to happen is we're going to pour it into the bowl, and that hot oil is going to cook the ginger, the scallions, oh, and the onions. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. So this is looking pretty hot. And when you pour it in here, you're going to notice it sizzles. See that sizzle? Yeah. See how they just kind of wilted now? Turn that off? Yeah, we'll turn that off. Okay. And that's actually... Cooked. Now, before you put any liquids in, you want it to cool off for just a minute because hot liquids and oil don't mix. So the first thing I want to put in here to temper it a little bit is the sesame oil because that's oil and oil. Then I'm going to put the tamari sauce in. And then you can put chicken stock or water in it. I actually prefer water because it's got, it, it doesn't interfere with the flavor of the tamari mm. and the ginger and the onions and the scallions. It's a little bit more of a pure flavor. So put that in. And I also like to put a little, make sure it's cooled off when you add this, a little cilantro in there. It adds a little color and it also adds a little flavor to it. Now you let the sauce sit, that's it. Sauce is done. So it sits for about three or four minutes? Yeah sit for about three or four minutes or three or four hours. In the refrigerator? Yeah, or even three or four days. Oh. It'll last for about five days. So now our sauce is done. Our banana leaves are steaming. Mm -hmm. And we're going to check our banana leaves to see if it's done. Now, just take your knife, put it in, count to ten. All right. I wonder how you count in Hawaiian. I have a friend who um, is Hawaiian. I'll have to ask him. That's nice and warm. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that, this one out. We will take our plate, put it up here. We'll lift this one out. Mm -hmm. OK, so. So now we've got our snapper on the plate. We're just going to untie the little string. And you can just flip it upside down. And as, as you unflip it, you can just kind of fold the leaf up so you don't have a big mess. So you serve wow. it. Wow. Yeah, so you serve it on the leaf. Now you've got this beautiful little snapper, and you can just fluff it up a little bit. So you've got the, you've got the snapper and the sausage underneath. You've got a little seaweed on top. Seaweed is so good for you, too. It it's is good for you. nutrients. Now you can just take your sauce and pass it around the table, and each person can just kind of spoon some sauce onto their plate. And this might be good with some jasmine rice and maybe a little mm -hmm. cucumber salad. Oh, my God, that looks now, amazing. Now, shall we? Please. I'm going to make sure you get a little seaweed, a little yep. sausage a little bit of the fish, some of the veggies from the sauce. 
Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. That is so good. It's really tasty and it actually tastes like it's good for you too. In a good way. It's there's something kind of sushi esque about it. I mm -hmm. feel like it's the seaweed. Is that what it is? Yeah, the seaweed's got a natural saltiness. It's got a little little bit of that nori flavor to it. And the whole combination with the sauce. Yeah, gives it a really nice, simple flavor. Mm. No wonder people are doing the hula all the time there. This would make me dance totally. Mm -hmm. And in Hawaii, after somebody gives you your dish or does something nice for you, yeah, you always say mahalo, which uh, is thank you in Hawaii. Ah, uh, okay. Well, mahalo, chef. I owe you one for this. This is beautiful. You're welcome. Mm. Thank you.